What's up guys, Mo here from Mo's PH and TurnUpTheComfort.com. What we got for you today is a busted spigot line. So here's the existing spigot line that they had. Still some water coming out. Here's the existing spigot line they had. I'm going to tell you a couple reasons why this is the wrong way to go and why this is the right way to go. And the shortcomings. So, stand by. And what we got over here is a regular garage wall. Unheated garage. Spigot came out right over here. So, if you can imagine... This guy's stat out over here. Couple issues. So let's go over this. Uninsulated, unheated garage. Guys, when the time comes, this place is gonna be almost as cold as it is outside. So what they till now they had is they had a shuttle valve right over here on the wall. Problem with having a shuttle valve over here on the wall is the pipe going from here all the way inside the house, that part of the pipe is still cold so the normal answer is let's go put some insulation on that and the problem with that is the insulation is an r value it's a res think about resistance value it just takes time for the cold to get into the pipe now if the inside of the pipe is not being heated it doesn't matter that you're putting on any insulation if you take a cooler and you put it out in the winter time or you put it out in the summertime eventually it's going to equalize from point a to point b unless the inside of the cooler is either warmer or hotter than the outside so that's one reason why the shutoff down here, right over here on the wall, makes no sense. Problem number two, this is a ball valve. Now what happens is there's a ball in here. Every time you turn it on, the ball goes the other way and the ball has a hole through it. And if somebody turns this off in the winter time or in the summertime after draining it out and there's still water inside the ball, it cracks out the side because the water that's stuck in this ball will come right out over here. So that's another reason why there's a poor choice. And obviously, best thing is drain it, turn it off inside the home, and we drain it out with compressed air. Now, so why do we go ahead with these frost-free spigots? And how do, how do they work? So this is a frost-free spigot. Let's prop this up over here for you. Okay, here's a spigot. You've got the handle, you've got the vacuum breaker, you've got the part that you connect the hose to, and you've got the part that goes into the house. Neat little feature, they say top, so when you're inside the house and you're trying to straighten it out, you can straighten it out without having somebody outside the home. The way these work is, these get installed through the wall, kind of like that. And the shutoff is right over here. So when you turn the handle outside, this piece from here to here has no water pressure in there. The one that we got over here, water comes right to over here, right to the shutoff. So the fact that this doesn't bust on a winter day is a miracle. Anyway, you got this over here, you turn it off, you gotta take your hose off the outside, water drains out from point A to point B. And the classic question that I always get is, hey Mo, that's super short. Why are you even wasting your time putting a two inch spig in there? And the first, first answer is we've got the shoulder season. You've got um, October, November, you may have not drained down your system yet and or you may want to turn on your system around April time and you can still get a nice freeze. So this will prevent a quick 32 or 30 or 28 degree day from freezing your pipe. It's not gonna help you down in, in the low teens or in five degrees, but it's better than nothing. This one also has a washer in it. So the way this guy works is when you tighten this handle, it squeezes a washer down in the back of there. You can see that. When you squeeze the washer, there's no ball for the water to get stuck into. So that's just a couple reasons why we do go through the trouble of putting a two inch frost free in a spot that still has to get drained down. Hey guys, if you need any quality information and quality work in the mechanical, plumbing, heating, cooling, reach out to us. Me and my team will be able to take care of you. Mo's PNH, that's M-O-E-S-P-A-N-D-H on Instagram. The Mo Hirsch, T H E M O E H I R S C H on Facebook. Turn up to comfort.com. Make sure you go there, fully revamping the entire site. It's going to be awesome. Whether you're in the industry or you're not in the industry, we've got some information that you can benefit from. Turn up the comfort. Be uncomfortable elsewhere. How do you guys like that?